Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you guys so much for joining me. Happy New Year to everyone. Yes, it's a new year, it's a new season. I have gotten my braces off. It is a very weird feeling. If you see me licking my teeth in this video, I apologize in advance because it is such a weird sensation to not have them. They've become a part of me over the year that I've had them. So if you're looking at the thumbnail, you already know that this conversation is going to be about the trend of the bad parent. Y'all, I almost did not want to have to have a conversation about this. And there is a few reasons why I didn't want to have this conversation because we as parents have all fall victim to some pretty, I would say, questionable decisions when it comes to our children. No one is without fault when it comes to doing things that maybe we should not have done, making bad decisions, making bad choices. And we have to be very careful when we talk about other people. But, and, let's just add an and to this because it is come to, it's been brought to my attention that this is now something that people are really, really concerned about because teachers are quitting their jobs, especially here in Germany. I thought it was just because you know, um, there isn't enough incentive and benefits to teaching as it, as opposed to in other countries. But there is a huge issue when it comes to teaching here and in many countries because, like, also the U.S., these kids... Have you all seen baby kids? I know if there's anyone here born in the 80s and 90s, I'm not going to call y'all out, but you remember baby kids, right? I'm really like tickled okay i shouldn't be tickled because this is a serious situation having witnessed firsthand what it's like to walk into a classroom and have to walk out because the kids were so bad shout out to all of my students y'all are great wonderful amazing people i am so proud of 99.9 percent .9 of the students that i was that i had come in contact with but and i would i must say that it is a very difficult job and it, and and it's going to become increasingly more difficult to do because the people from my generation and a slightly younger age are becoming parents. And one of the issues that I have seen is a large part of it has to do with the ill preparedness that we have I'm not I'm not passing the blame on y'all I'm not trying to say this is a um I'm not going to pass the buck and say it's our parents fault but I can definitely see that the <clears throat> the ability to teach what we do not know is definitely present in what we see going on in the classroom when a teacher has to reprimand or bring to the attention a bad behavior of a student to the parent and the parents like well they didn't want to do it so you know that's the issue at well not the issue but well so what you know they if they didn't want to do it then then that's just the way it is and I find that it is a it is a direct result of sort of a rebellion based on what it is that we experience in the classroom as children and now we want to give our children more freedom so to speak while not really understanding the importance of children on knowing that there is a need for authority boundaries and structure within their lives and so it's a very in many cases a very straightforward as straightforward as i just said it to you situation and in other cases, in a few cases, it is also a very deeply rooted, deeply seated issue of the issue of how harsh, <clears throat> not harsh, harsh is not the word I'm looking for, how extreme technology has taken over our parenting for us in one of the most negative ways that I could have ever imagined. If you think, because I've been a teacher for like 16 years now, and the last time I was in a classroom was uh, 12 years ago, maybe. 12 years ago? Yeah, 12 years ago th this time. If you think that you have seen horrific addiction to technology, cell phones, laptops, iPads, all of that good stuff in the classroom when they're not supposed to be using it now, I mean back then, 
Like when, when the phone was just becoming a thing, <laughs> y'all, oh my gosh, we have come full circle when it comes to the level of addiction at, and it's getting younger and younger. Like I remember specifically telling some parents when I had my daughter, my 18 year old asked me religiously every month for a cell phone telling parents this is a bad idea and being laughed at and being told that I was smothering or being prudish or all kinds of accusations were being made on part of my parenting. But I knew because I was a teacher that this was going to be a bad idea because we did not know giving a child a cell phone would have such irreparable um, results. And now we are seeing brunt of this behavior hit us in such an astronomical way that is impossible to in unlearn. And I was really concerned about it back then. Like I said, I've been in a classroom 12 years ago, and now the stories that I'm hearing about children who have all of these behavioral issues, there is no doubt in my mind that a lot of it has to do and is directly linked to the amount of technology that is being given to them and the amount of technology that is being given to them as a pacifier to replace parenting discipline and laying down boundaries. Parents are overwhelmed because they want to do the opposite that was done for them when they were in, when they were coming up with their parents, you know, and they don't have an, and they have no alternative. So they're, they don't have any alternative to how to parent better than what was done for them. And even worse than that, they don't understand the importance of what was being done for them. Now, I'm not going to let the baby boomers completely off the hook and say that they have um, the best parenting skills because a lot of these baby boomers are, to be honest, shout out to the baby boomers. I love y'all. But they were just lazy. Like they were doing the most. They were living their lives, having less children, and not really about the life that their grandparents had, which was about sacrifice, work, and having traditional um, traditional skills and goals and, and really just centered around family. No. This is making quite a general statement here, but we can see the transition as of the last three generations as to how the paradigm shift of family-oriented raising children has changed to individualism and everybody searching for their truth and living their truth and wanting to be more self-aware, which is fine and good. But I think that we have somehow lost, well, not somehow, I know how, but we have lost in the process of the self-discovery process, the need for being able to understand why certain things that are put in place as check and balances for the greater good of children and for everyone involved there so that people can become the best version of themselves and not lose the ability and the need for being connected to one another. We are so much more connected worldwide but we don't have the ability to make real human connections like we used to before technology was the monster that it is. And don't get me wrong, because I use technology every day to connect with family members near and far, so it has its place. But when you are raising a child, there definitely needs to be that point and place and time where you and your child are connecting face to face, having a conversation, even if they're talking about something that does not interest you, they need to be heard and felt and appreciated and validated. Something that technology should not take over because the validation that comes along with technology comes at a price. And the price that we are paying for this is partially being reflected in the fact that teachers are just not wanting to teach your kids anymore because these kids are not being raised up. They're being dragged up by the beast that whatever it is is on the that screen that they're watching is dictating how they are supposed to behave. And there are no regulations from the side of the parents to say, this is not the way we behave. This is the way we behave. And a part of it is, is that it's some sort of rebellion, but the rebellion is causing us to ruin our children and ruin society. 
I really hope that this is something that you guys can push back on, give me some more specifics on, because I feel like this is something that I'm a little bit too close to <laughs> and need some outside perspective. So, you know, as usual, please make sure to comment down below and um, do so respectfully. Do get out in the comment section. Uh, do so respectfully, of course, please. And uh, stay safe and stay free. It's a new year, guys. Enjoy.